The plan today was to try out the Kia EV6's 200 plus kilowatt charging capabilities at Ionity here in City North. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to charge the car. Between a series of errors on the screen, I've taken the EasyGo app and fob, which it's my first time to use it, but it's all very straightforward. You download the app and you use that fob. You can use the app to start the charger. Nothing would make the Ionity kick into life. So then I called their helpline, which is a local number, but then that obviously connects to somewhere else. And a lovely lady tried to restart both machines separately and try to even remotely start them charging herself, which I've seen work in other situations. Now, thankfully I'm not totally stuck. I've got about 120 kilometers of range in this car. I'm gonna to go to an ESB charger in Lusk and try that. But if I was on fumes, I'd now be ringing a tow truck because yet again, well, from what I can assume anyway, because the car is charging fine at home, the infrastructure lets the cars down yet again. So we're gonna jump in, hope for the best and see, was it the car or was it the Ionity? Stay tuned to find out what happens next. I'm here in my state of the art, 55,000 euro Kia EV6 at a different charger in the SB one this time. And it's like the perfect storm of things to go wrong. So there's currently a Nissan Leaf charging at this ESB charger. Uh, a Nissan Leaf uses a type of connection called CHAdeMO. And you can't charge CHAdeMO, which is charging the Leaf, and CCS, which this car takes, they're two different types of plugs basically. You can't charge them at the same time on these types of chargers. There's very few of them that can actually simultaneously charge CCS and CHAdeMO. As far as I know, there's none in Ireland. So I now have to wait because if I plug my connection in, there's a potential that could mess up this person's charge. I don't upset them. And there's no point anyway, because I know it's not gonna be able to physically charge the car. So now it's a sit and wait game. It's a quarter to five. Uh, I left the house today and I, I think I have three. Maybe, actually could have been three. And I still haven't managed to put a kilometer of energy into this state of the art car. This could be interesting. Okay, so Houston, we have a bit of a problem. Uh, it's now 10 past five. My Lee friend has departed and I've connected up the car, as you can see, and it's still not charging. The CCS will not lock into place on the EV6. So now I'm starting to think it's a car problem. And the horn has started going off. Uh, you have to unlock the doors for that to stop. So, yeah, I'm kind of concerned. now. As I said, this car was charging fine for me at home today. No problem on just the Type 2 charger, the wall box, whatever. But for some reason, this Kia doesn't want a fast charge. And I have connected up to the apps that you I should be. I'm on EasyGo's app there. It's saying that the charger is occupied, but it just ain't syncing up to the car for some reason. So. I will have to talk to Kia and find out what the hell is going on. I do have enough charge to get home, so I'm okay. Just in case you're gonna come here and try and rescue me. Uh, but I think three chargers all not working with the car would indicate that the problem could be with the car. What's going on? One other thing as well, I've also tried my own ESB account and it's just waiting for a response when I try and start this charger with the app and there's credit in my account. So I really am now thinking, two different accounts, three different chargers. I think the EV6 is a bit broken. I'm now in my driveway at home. I have the EV6 plugged in. It is charging. It is uh, doing 6.9 kilowatts and it will be fully charged. The 24% now will be fully charged at 100% in nine hours, 40 minutes. So it'll charge, it just won't fast charge um, not sure what that's about even the AC 43 which obviously wouldn't give you 43 uh, kilowatts but that wouldn't connect either so I'm not quite sure what's going on but thankfully I will wake up tomorrow morning and I'll have an extensive range 
but we need to get to the bottom of this so if you have any comments thoughts help uh, you know turn it on and off again uh, please do leave it in the comments below and I'm sure like if it is something software wise it's fixable but it's it's strange to say the least thank you for sticking with me this long in the video um, as I said do if you've got any comments that might help out leave them below and uh, well I'll have the full review of this car with everything else involved in it coming soon to the channel as well thanks for watching